Hello everyone, this time we're going to take up division of polynomials. But before that, let us have division of whole number first. Example, 287 divided by 3. 287 is called the dividend and 3 is called the divisor. Let's divide now. Let's have 28 divided by 3, that is equal to 9. And we place that above the dividend. After that, you multiply the quotient and the divisor. That's 9 times 3 is equal to 27. And we place that before the dividend. Then, let's subtract 28 and 27. So, 28 minus 27, that is equal to 1. After that, bring down the next number, which is 7. And then, you arrive now on the second dividend. Then, you are going to apply the same process, just like you have done a while ago. So, 17 divided by 3, that is equal to 5. And then 5 times 3 is equal to 15. And 17 minus 15 is equal to 2. That ends our division process. Again, our dividend is 287. The divisor is 3. The quotient is 95. And the remainder is 2. Now, how are we going to check whether our answer is correct? That is, we're going to multiply the quotient and the divisor and then add the remainder. It should be equal to the given dividend. We're going to use the process in dividing also polynomials. That is, divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down rule. Let us have an example. Given x squared plus 10x plus 21 divided by x plus 3. x squared plus 10x plus 21 is our dividend and x plus 3 is the divisor. Now, always remember you have to arrange first the given polynomials, both the dividend and the divisor in descending powers of x. It should start with the highest exponent down to the constant term. Now, let's apply the rule that is divide. So, that's our first step, divide. And what are you going to divide? That is, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So, let's have the solution. x squared divided by x is equal to x. Remember the quotient rule that you are going to subtract the exponent if they have the same basis. And then write your quotient or your answer above the dividend having the same power. Next step. That is, multiply. And what are you going to multiply? Your answer in number 1 or the quotient multiplied by the given divisor and that is x plus 3. Then apply distributive property to get the product x times x and then x times 3. Then x times x is equal to x squared. Remember the product rule. You are going to Add the exponent if they have the same basis. Then x times positive 3, that's 3x. Then write your answer below our dividend. So x squared plus 3x. Okay, next step is you are going to subtract. So let's subtract x squared plus 10x minus x squared plus 3x. So, if you're going to observe our first terms here, it, when you subtract them, they are already equal to 0. Then, let's focus on our second term. So, that is 10x minus 3x. So, 10x minus 3x, that is equal to 7x. So, 7x. Okay, the next step is bring down it. So, we're going to bring down the next term, and that is positive 21. Okay, so have now your second dividend. We're going to repeat the same process as what we have done a while ago. So, let's have again divide. Divide the first term by the first term of the divisor. 7x divided by x, that is equal to... 7. And write your quotient above the dividend. Next step is multiply. So your answer in step 1, that is 7, multiplied by the given divisor, which is x plus 3. Okay. 
Applying distributive property again, 7 times x and 7 times 3, so that's 7x plus 21. Write your answer below the dividend. Okay. Next step is you are going to subtract 7x plus 21 minus 7x plus 21. If you're going to observe, they both have the same expression. So, when you subtract them, they're all equal to zero. Okay, so the quotient in this uh, problem is x plus 7. Let us have another example. Divide 4x cubed plus 5x minus 12 by 2x minus 1. So, our dividend is 4x cubed plus 5x minus 12, and our divisor is 2x minus 1. But if you're going to observe on the given, the highest exponent is 3, and it's followed by 1. There is a missing term, and that is the term that contains a power of 2. You are going to write the term that contains the power of 2 but the numerical coefficient is equal to 0. Divide the first term of the given dividend by the first term of the given divisor. So that's 4x cubed divided by 2x. 4x cubed divided by 2x that is equal to 2x squared. Write the quotient above the dividend that has the same power. Second step is you are going to multiply 2x squared multiplied by the given divisor, that's 2x minus 1. Applying distributive property, 2x squared times 2x, that is equal to 4x cubed. Remember that you are going to add their exponent if they have the same basis. And then 2x times negative 1, that is equal to 2x squared. Okay. Write your answer below the dividend. So that's 4x cubed minus 2x squared. Okay. Third step is you are going to subtract. Okay. 4x cubed minus 4x cubed, that is already 0. So let's focus on the second term. So, the next term is 0x squared minus negative 2x squared. Now, remember the rule in subtracting two sign numbers. That is, you are going to change the sign of the subtrahend, and then you are going to change the subtraction sign to addition. So, 0x squared plus 2x squared, that is equal to 2x squared. So, that is now 2x squared. Okay, next step is you are going to bring down, and that is the term positive 5x. So, that is our step 4. Bring down positive 5x. Okay, so you have now your second dividend. So, we're going to repeat the same process. Let us label this as set A for our first dividend. And then, let's have B for the second dividend now. So, Again, let's divide what is to be divided to x squared, the first term of the second dividend by the first term of the given divisor. So that is 2x. 2x squared divided by 2x, that is equal to x. Then write your quotient above the dividend. Second step is you are going to multiply the quotient and then the given divisor which is 2x minus 1 then apply again distributive property x times 2x that is equal to 2x squared then x times negative 1 that is negative x so write your answer below the dividend 2x squared minus x Okay, third step is you are going to subtract. So, 2x squared minus 2x squared, that is equal to 0. Let's have now the next term, 5x minus negative x. 
Remember the rule when you are going to subtract sign numbers, you are going to change the sign of the subtrahend and then back to addition. So 5x plus x, that is equivalent to 6x. So write your answer here, 6x. The next step is you are going to bring down the next term, and that is negative 12. So you bring down negative 12. So you have now the third dividend, and that is 6x minus 12. We are going to repeat the same process as what we have done on set A or set B. So this is for set C for that third dividend. Again, divide the first term of the third dividend by the first term of the given divisor, which is 2x. 6x divided by 2x, that is equal to 3. Okay, so write your answer above plus 3. Second step is you are going to multiply the quotient times the given divisor 2x minus 1. Applying distributive property, 3 times 2x, that is equal to 6x. And then 3 times negative 1, so that's negative 3. So write your answer below the third dividend, 6x minus 3. Okay, then third step is you are going to subtract. So 6x minus 6x, that's 0. Let's focus on negative 12 minus negative 3. Minus negative 3. So remember, when you subtract two sign numbers, change the sign of the subtrahend and then back to addition. So negative 12 plus positive 3, they are unlike, so we're going to subtract the two numbers, 12 minus 3, and we're going to copy the sign of the higher number. So negative 12 plus positive 3, that is equal to negative 9. So that is equal to negative 9. So the quotient is... 2x squared plus x plus 3 minus 9 over 2x minus 1. And the remainder is negative 9. 